going to be doing simple subtraction using complementary numbers in the tens column. All right, so by now you, you know that you can handle this because you did it before with addition, and addition is just the opposite of subtraction. And it's just a reminder. Well, let's just start with a problem, So, and I'll talk you through it. Let's put the number 15 on our abacus. 15. A 1 and a 5 is 15. And we want to take from that number the number 4. 15 minus 4. Well, I go to take away 4 here, and I can't take away any more because to subtract or take away, I have to move it away from here, and I can't do that. And so I have to switch. That triggers my mind to think, oh, yeah, complementary numbers. And the complement to the number 4, because that's the number we want to subtract, is the number 1. So in subtraction, I added the complement. So that means I slide that up and then move that out of the way. 15 minus 4 is 11. A 1 and a 1. 11. 15 minus 4 is 11. So let's do that. Let's do a different problem. It's just as easy as that. We, it's not any harder than we did before in the previous lesson, but you're going to... Now we're using the tens column. So put the number 25 on your abacus. There is the number 25 on our abacus, and we are going to take from that the number 2. 25 minus 2. Well, 2 is in the ones column, and we don't have any... We can't take away 2 because they're all already gone. Well, how do I do that? Oh, yeah, there's my trigger to think complementary numbers. So the complement of the number 2 is the number 3. So 25 minus 2. Well, okay, that means I add 3. Move that out of the way. 25 minus 2 is a 2 and a 3. 23. 25 minus 2 is 23. So piece of cake. If you handled if you did the problems in the last lesson, those two will have been extremely easy. So let's do something a little more tricky. Let's see if I can trick you here. Put the number 45 on your abacus. A 4 and a 5. 45. And we are going to take from that 11. 45 minus 11 is a 1 and a 1. So we're going to start over here as we work left to, right, left to right. Remember that? So 11... Well, this one's easy. We don't even have to use complementary numbers. We just take that away. So we just subtracted 1 from the tens column, and now we've got to subtract 1 from the ones column. And I can't. Everything's already down at the bottom. Oh, yeah, trigger for my complementary numbers. So here we go. So the complement to the number 1 is the number 4. So that means I add the complement and get that out of the way and subtract the 5 there. So 45 minus 11 is, what's this number? A 3 and a 4, 34. 45 minus 11 is 34. So that one was kind of fun because we have, in the tens column, we just did our normal subtraction. And in, in the ones column, we did our complementary subtraction. Let's do another one like that. Those ones are fun. That really makes my brain work. 88 minus 44. So let's put the number 88 on there. <laughs> Sound effects are allowed with the abacus. 88, but not required. You don't have to make sound effects. I, it just makes it more fun. Hey, okay, 88 minus 44. Here's an 8 and an 8. 88. And we are going to subtract from the number 88, 44. So 88 minus 44. So we go here. Oh, I can't take four away here because there's only three that I can take away. Oh, trigger. Complementary numbers. There we go. Okay. 
So the complement to the number four is the number one. That means I add one, take that away. And the same thing here. I can't take, there's no room for me to take away four. There's only three. So oh, I add the complement and then get the five out of the way. Add the complement of that. So 88 minus 44 is, well, we're left with a four and a four, 44. 88 minus 44 is 44. All right, here we go. Clear that. 37 minus 33. So let's put the number 37 on here. 37. A 3 and a 7. 37 is 37. And we are going to take from that the number 33. So we start here. 33 is written a 3 and a 3. So can we take away a 3 in this column? Yes, we can. There's three beads that we can move out of the way. Can we take away three in this column? Not without... Oh, there's my trigger for complementary numbers because I can't move three beads down. So the complement to the number three is the number two. So I add the two and get that out of the way. And what are we left with? It is the number four. So there we have it. 37 minus 33 is four. All right, go print off your worksheet and try that out. See, see if you can do that. It should be a piece of cake because you're getting this by now. You've already done it with addition and you know this is just the opposite. We're using complementary numbers.